Hello everyone and welcome back to coming on Caffeine, my name is Isaac and welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster. So, uh, last episode we went out, we found uh, a lot of rubber trees from uh, Minecraft, Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, I've actually updated the texture pack since the last episode, so you can see it's got all nice and facts now. And if we look in our furnace, I believe, yeah, look at all these nice facts to the bars. Oh, it's awesome. So I'm going to start off by just throwing some of these down like this so that we can get some more rubber trees in a minute. Because we're probably going to need quite a bit of rubber actually. Uh, there we go. And since last episode, I've been sat at the grindstone. I've managed to grind down 52, 54 even. Sorry, I can't read. 54 iron dust uh, from Industrial Craft 2. There we go. So let's start cooking that up, actually. Because today, I kind of want to get started on some Industrial Craft 2 stuff. I mean, I don't. I haven't started with Industrial Craft 2 in a long time. Uh, I usually start with, uh, like, uh, thermal expansion or build craft stuff and stuff like that. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to change it up a bit. I'm going to start with uh, thermal expansion. Not thermal expansion, bloody hell, industrial craft. <laughs> okay, so first thing I've got, and uh, if you type in at and then industrial craft 2, I'll come up with all the industrial craft stuff. Or just at indus. We'll, uh, we'll do, the, do the same thing. Um, so... Uh, the first thing we need to make is the generator. Now the generator needs uh, three iron plates, an iron furnace, and an RE battery. Now iron plates are a forge hammer, which has 80 uses, which is pretty good, and uh, an iron ingot. So a forge hammer is just two sticks and a bunch of iron. So as soon as this gets done with what it's doing, I think I might actually make another furnace just to speed this process up a little bit, because we're going to need quite a bit of iron. Let's just take half of those and throw them in here. We'll grab some more coal, because I think we've got some more coal. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. There we go. That should cook up twice as fast now. We've got eight, and I believe that is enough. So we'll throw that in there like so, and kaboom, we've got a forge hammer. So if I put these like that, and there we go. Look at that. We've got our three four, uh, three iron plates. Now, um, industrial crafts changed a lot since I last played it. Like, we didn't used to have these iron plates and forge hammers and stuff, so uh, I'm quite interested to see uh, how these uh, new recipes look. I mean, look at this, uh, insulate cable, tin item casing, I've never heard of that in my life. Um, I am a forge hammer with tin plating, okay, so I think we're going to need some tin, which is in my inventory. So let's take this out and put that in, so. And that should start cooking that up. We only need three, is it? How much tin do we need? We need two, two, two. One of them makes two of those, so we're going to need two. Oh, where am I? We're going to need two tin, and then for this we need... Uh, another piece of tin, I believe. Oh no, we need another tin plate, which is another piece of tin, and some cutters, which are three iron plates and two iron ingots. Okay, so let's make some more iron plates while they're doing that. Iron plates are just like this. Kaboom, more iron plates. And then if we can get two iron ingots, like this. Kaplunk. There we go, look at that, we've got some cutters. Never a new item, never heard of those before. Get some more iron. Get some of our tin. I think that's enough tin, actually, so I'm going to take that out, because I don't want to waste too much tin. This hasn't been ground down, so I kind of don't want to waste it. Let's get some of these. I think I need to leave... Oh, no, I don't. I need to make them all into plates, don't I? Here we go. And then I need to turn... I need to cut one of them up into wires, like this. They have to use durability. They get 60 uses out of those. And then the rest of these, I need to turn into these, like that. So, what else? Do I have what it takes to make... One of these, I do. Let's make one of those. And then, do I have what it takes to make the Barry battery? We need some redstone. Ooh, do we have any redstone? We do not have any redstone. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and mine some redstone, and I will be right back. Wow, finally. My, look at this. Look at this. I have been digging in this tunnel on Y13 for, like, far too long now but finally phantom redstone it looks different it looks like it's got a different texture actually but here we go flipping heck that took far too long okay i'll see you back up top okay we're back we're back finally i've got some redstone most of our irons cooked i'm gonna put some stuff in these chests actually because my chest was far too full down there when i was trying to get stuff i'll put the ores and stuff in here actually there we go uh, i might not put this in here i'll keep the redstone because that's what we need i've got nine as well flipping redstone okay Right, I can't remember what we needed red stuff for now. Uh, the tin things, didn't we? Here we go. The, the batteries. Can we make one? We can. Kaplunk. Now, we also need an iron furnace, which is a furnace with uh, five iron plates. So, let's get this. Uh, let's do five of those, or six, you know, whatever. Five. There we go. And furnace is just like that. Kaplunk with all these. 
There you go. We got an iron furnace. And now I think we should. No, what are we missing? Uh, three plates. I think we've got everything, haven't we? There we go, generator. Look at that. Kaboom. Okay, so where do I want to put this? Let's just stick this over here for now. Why not? Uh, I'll probably move it to a full house at some point, but I don't know if, I'll be, I don't know if I'm going to build it here or not, so I'm just going to start off with this stuff for, for now. Why not? Okay, so the next thing I want is a macerate, so I don't have to sit here and grind down my ores like this for decades and try and break that stick like I just did. Uh, so, macerate. Uh, we need three flints, some cobblestone, an electric circuit, which is copper cables, redstone, and an iron plate. Now, good thing we've got some uh, rubber because copper cables is uninsulated copper cable and rubber now Copper we're gonna need to smelt some copper up. I believe. Yep. It's okay. Though. We've got loads of copper Let's throw some of that in there throw some in there just so it cooks up faster uh, Probably gonna need to get some more coal going because this thing does run on coal But the good thing is whilst I was down there mining stuff I got quite a few of these these weak magic essence uh, I don't know if we've got any more we don't but what you can do with these is if I type in say coal seeds Maybe not in caps. <laughs> we can actually grow coal using these. So just simply some seeds, four, four weak magic essence and four coal gives us two coal seeds. And then when they fully grow, they'll drop coal essence, which when we get enough of it, we can craft back into coal. So if we say get some seeds, do we have any seeds? Seeds? It doesn't look like we do. We've got some there, though. Can we make sickles? Sickles are a really good way of... Um, oh, it looks like we... Oh. There is some sort of sickle. There's an invar sickle and a flux flipping electrum flipping sickle. God, look at this. Jesus. Flux electrum blend and pyrothium dust. Flux electrum blend is electrum inf infused with the uh, disabled dust, so that's not too bad. And then how do we make this other stuff? This is, oh my god, pulverized coal, sulfur, redstone, and blaze powder. Gosh. I, bet, I wonder if that's any good. I wonder if you can get any more flux-infused stuff. Oh, we can, we can get like a full set of flux-infused things. I wonder if they're like fully chargeable as well. I bet they are. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Anyway, back to sickles. Do we have any others apart from the default ones there? Doesn't look like we do, but to get an inval one... I wonder if we can make some inval right now. Do we have any ferrous? Um, ferrous. Ferrous? Doesn't look like we do. Um, and the only way we can get ferrous then, if we don't really have any, is either go mine some or um, make a pulverizer. So we'll hold off on that for now. But uh, if we do get some ferrous, we can always make one. Uh, actually, I keep doing this. Why not? Whilst we're waiting for that stuff. Uh, here we go. Anything? Any seeds? We've got two, haven't we? Yeah, two. I'll go over here. Any more seeds? Ooh, it's a nice cave there. I didn't see that. Look, look at that. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get all this. Do, do, do. Ooh, what are they? Cotton seeds. Oh, they'll come in useful. We'll have to go finding sheep if we get some cotton seeds going. We've got a nice dye tree behind us there. A jungle dye tree. Anything else? Anyone else? Seeds? Maybe? No? Just me? We've got all look like some blueberries or something there. We've got... Uh, canola seeds. We've also got some vanilla, some more cotton seeds. We've got a couple of normal seeds, which is the ones we're after. <laughs> you know. Okay. Let's go make the ones we've got. We'll pick up some more vanilla on the way past. I'm not quite sure what we can use vanilla for, but we'll find out, I'm sure. So, if we just go in here and we craft four of these, they're like, not like that at all. But if we do that and then do this with some seeds, we can get coal seeds. Look at this. There we go. I thought I was a zombie over there then. I got a bit scared. But here we go. We've got some coal seeds. And now, if I can pick this stuff up and put it in my backpack and stop pressing caps lock, we can actually, let's make a hole real quick, and we can start putting this down, which is pretty cool. So let's do this. Stone hoe. And let's go plant them just, say, here for now. Why not? There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. There's our coal farm. Oh, look at it. Look at that. Look at that for a coal farm. You can't find much better coal farms anywhere else, guys. Nowhere else. Okay, so we've got some copper there. We've got some more copper in there. Gosh, we cooked it all up whilst we were messing around with other stuff. But it's fine. Uh, I think... Oh, we're going to have to use scissors, aren't we, nowadays? I think things, things will have changed. So we'll go, to back, we'll go back to at industrial craft. And let's go back to our uh, macerator. So we need copper cables. So I'm going to... Yeah, we need plates and... Oh, gosh, okay. 
So we have to get our hammer back. I guess this is why the hammer comes with eight to use us because you need it quite a bit. So let's get that. I think we don't need that many, but it's fine. We'll cut this up. We're going to need a lot of copper cables anyway. Uh, is that not right? No, it's going to be using shears. Well done, Isaac. <laughs> well done. They look the same. Okay. And then if we craft these with this rubber, we can get insulated copper cables. Nice. So now we just craft these. Oh, we need an iron. We're going to need another iron uh, plate. Let's make one of those real quick. There we go. Iron plates. I think it was redstone, redstone, and some copper cabling. Gets us one of these. Nice. Now I think we're going to need nine more copper iron plates. Because I believe that this makes us that. Yep, makes us a basic machine. And then if we put that with some cobblestone and some flint, which we're going to get now by doing this, hopefully, if flint decides to become an option, maybe, one day, possibly, in the near future. There we go. Jesus, that took a long time. Can, I'm sure something's changed, like a, the, the percentage of like chance there is of gravel dropping, uh, gravel? Gravel dropping drint. Gravel dropping flint. Because um, I maybe need to use a shovel now because think, I didn't get any whilst using my fists and then as soon as I used my shovel it seemed to work. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, I think we should now... Kaboom, look at that. We've got everything we need and macerate. Uh, so to start off with, I'm just going to stick this down next to this because um, this thing will power anything that's attached to it or that anything that's like next to it or that anything that's connected up to it with uh, copper cables. Like if I did this... Um, like that. There we go, that would work. And uh, But to be honest, we don't need to use these cables, they'll connect up anyway. And these are actually cotton plants, which is pretty cool. So we can just do this, and we'll get a bunch of cotton. And then is it just like four cotton, or maybe nine or something? I'll find out in a second. Let's have a look, how do you make wool? Wool, we need... Yeah, it's nine, nine cotton makes us a piece of wool. Which is pretty nice, considering this is like free, unlimited wool. Here we go, let's plant these seeds back down, might as well. Uh, do, do, do these do need to be heard? Okay. There we go. Huzzah! Okay, so now, if we just say go get some of our ores, like... Do, do, do. How about some tin? And we throw it into the macerator. It should, if we actually put some coal in here, which would be a good idea. Good place to start, Isaac. Because this is a coal-powered generator, we'll throw some coal in there, and it should start powering this thing. And when it does, we should get uh, one piece of tin to give us two. Now, I think this has changed, actually. I don't think you get two, put, two like, dust anymore. I think you get two of something else. Let's have a look. Let's see what we get. But I think it's changed. I'm flipping it. There's a lot of new blocks here. A replicator. I've never heard of that. Canning machine. Crop metron. Look at this. So we get crushed tin ore, which is uh, which is different. Now, I think you could probably still use this for the same stuff as, uh, as previously. You could probably still uh, cook this. But I think there's something now called an ore washer. Which we can um, we can use to sort of like refine this stuff and get even more from it. So if I type in ore washer, this machine here, look from Industrial Craft, the ore washer. Okay, so this thing needs more iron plates, another basic machine casing, which we can do buckets, we can do electric thing, we can do motors. Okay, so we need some more tin item casings, we need some coils, and we need some iron. So what are coils? Copper cable and iron. Okay, I think I think we might not have enough iron, but I think we can do this possibly. Let's have a look. Did we cook all our iron? Did we? I swear we didn't cook all of it. Oh no, there it is. Gosh, I'm going to say. Got 22 iron bars there. I'm going to go quickly throw some more into this uh, this here. This here macerator. And okay, let's have a look. Let's get started. So we need two two buckets. Let's do that. Two buckets. And I can't set off the iron because it's in here. Let's do this. Okay, what else do we need? Copper cabling, we can do that, can't we? Yeah. Okay, we need... How much do we need? We need... One, two... We need four of these. So we need eight times four, so we need 24. So we get three from each. Which means eight, maybe? Possibly? Uh, oh, no, we need to turn these into... Oh, gosh, this is getting complicated. We need to turn these into plates. And then we need to scissor these plates with these. And 16, oh, I was close. Uh, we need to do a few more of these. And then we need to scissor these. Oh, look at that, 24. Perfect. Okay, so then if we surround these with some iron, like so, we should 
Oh, we're going to need another one, aren't we? We need four of these, don't we? Uh, I believe. Yeah, we need four. Okay. Okay. So we're going to make a couple more. Uh, one more, which is eight more wire, which is three, I think. Three of those makes three plates, which turns into nine wires, which is just one extra than what we need, I think. Oh, it turns into six wires. Oh, we get two from each. I thought we got three from each. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Let's go again. Last one. Hopefully. Kaboom. Okay. We got this. We got this. There we go. We got four of those now. So, and then we just need uh, four, tin ca four of these tin castings. We've got two already, so we can make one of these things. Which is nice. And then if we just get another tin casing thing. Which we can get if we cook up some tin. Which I think I might do after I pulverize it. So I'll take some of that. I'll start pulverizing some tin. So let's have a look. Can I ask just straight up smelt this? Yeah, I can. I can. But um, I do believe you get more stuff from it if you th uh, put it through the oil washing machine first. So uh, that's just iron. That's fine. Let's make those two buckets we need. Like that. Okay, plunk. What else do we need? We need three iron plates just straight up. Here we go. Three of those. We almost used that, haven't we? Look at that. It's 27 left. We've tore through that. We need eight more plates. Look at that, I've got a perfect amount of those. Kaboom. Kaboom. And need one of these, which is... Da, 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 da. Do we have enough? Nope, I think we need a piece of iron. We need... Can we make one? Yep, there we go, look at that. If you were, if you just shift click, if you press shift and click on the question mark, if you've got everything you need to make it, it'll just throw it all in the crafting table for you, which is uh, pretty nice. So now we just need to make this, which means we just need some tin casings, which is rather nice. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to put some more iron back in there. Why not? And then let's stop that. Put uh, these in there. And then we just need, how many is it? Do we need two? Two will make us... Yeah, because one of these makes one of those. Actually, we should just need one. One tin ingot should probably do it, I think. So if we craft the tin ingot with the hammer and then that with other oh, hammer again, it is, isn't it? Yep. And then we should be able to craft one of those. Huzzah. So now if we shift click on the wa ore washer, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now we can wash all of our ores until they're like super clean. Oh my gosh, look at this. I have no idea how this works like. So let's put some crushed iron in. Okay, apparently it goes there. Um, It's getting some power. It's not getting loads. I don't know how long this takes to work or how it works. I'm going to stop this machine so that it gets more power, hopefully. Let's have a look. This thing's outputting 10 EU per tick. This thing needs 16 EU per tick. <laughs> so it might work pretty slow. Uh, is it going to do anything? Do I need to put water in here, maybe? I might have to put some water in there somehow. Let's make a bucket and see if we can put water in. It would make sense that it needs water because it's uh, an oil washing station. Let's see if we can put water in it. Shift click. Nope. Let's try putting some... Let's just open that and stick that in. There we go. Look that. There we go. Okay. Is it going to... Oh, look. Stuff's happening. Things are going. Let's get some more water quick. Oars are being washed. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Never seen this before. I've actually no idea what this does. <laughs> um, oil washing plant. Let's see what crushed iron does. Crushed iron ore oh, gives us... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we got... Uh, some purified crushed iron ore, okay. We got some t a tiny pile of iron dust, and we got some stone dust, okay. Um, not too sure what we can use all this for. Maybe if we smelt the... Let's take that out so it doesn't... We can we can wash it now. If I Do I smelt this? Purified crushed iron ore, okay. I think I can smelt this to make my iron. And then I think the uh, tiny pile of iron dust and the whatever else we got. Where is it? And the uh, stone dust, I think they're just extra. So I'm really brave. I'm going to press U. Okay, there we go. Okay, so nine dust makes us another iron dust. So for every, like, I don't know, uh, five, ores we, five iron ores we put through here, we'll get ten of these tiny iron dust. So we'll be able to make an, an extra iron. So it's a way of getting even more ore. And then the stone thing probably just makes stone, to be honest. Um, oh, gosh. So if we combine the stone dust with some clay and some sand, we get... CF powder, which can be used in a canning machine to do something with, oh my gosh, something with this. Um, fluid.ic2.fuel 
dot fluid cf yeah that's what it can do okay <laughs> so i think i'm gonna call it there guys uh if you did enjoy the episode be sure to hit like and i think next episode i might try to set up something so that we can like automate this so we have the oils coming out the um the like unpurified oils coming out of here and then maybe background and going into here so that all of our oils get washed automatically and then maybe into a chest that could be pretty cool i also need to set up some sort of um way to get this water pumping into here automatically instead of just doing this over and over again so we'll definitely get onto that but yeah if you did enjoy it, hit that like and i'll see you guys next time Bye -bye.